Hey guys, welcome to Kamikita J. So today I'll be making pasta from Low Carb Bird Company. I ordered these on Amazon and I'll be doing it shrimp alfredo and I'll be using the penny pasta from this company i couldn't decide fettuccine or penny but i went with a penny anyways so guys i'm gonna um get some water boiling add some olive oil along with some salt and then i'll add the pasta now this particular brand pasta you have to cook it for a little while for it to you know soften up and taste like a regular um, macaroni or pasta whatever you call it so I let the water boil and then I'll go in with my pasta. In the meantime, I'm gonna season up um, my shrimp and get my vegetable ready. So I'm cutting up my onion and my sweet pepper to put them one side and, and then I'll do the shrimp. Now guys, if you're just joining, I do keto and if you're not already subscribed please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell if you know anybody who is interested in doing the keto diet you can refer them to my page share it with your friends and family and let's get cooking so yeah going in with some sweet pepper right now not a lot um because it was just i was just cooking for myself really so i didn't go in with a lot of seasoning so my sweet pepper and for my shrimp really i don't like the tail on so you're gonna see me take off the tail um if i'm gonna like a deep fry or do the shrimp for presentation i'll leave the tail on but anytime i'm doing pasta i prefer to take the tail off and i always use raw shrimp because i don't like that rubbery overcooked taste so i don't really like using cooked shrimp if i get it for free i'll use it but otherwise definitely raw so yeah as i said before always um for the low carb bread company pasta just boil it a little longer and it will taste similar to your regular flour macaroni pasta right guys don't forget um to boil it a little extra all right so right now i'm gonna add the pasta to the water because the water is boiling and then come back to get my shrimp ready So guys, just remember to always stir your pasta when it hits the hot water even though you add olive oil or some form of oil to the water. It will help to keep the, the pasta separated. As I said, I always remove the tail when I'm doing pasta from the shrimp. So yeah. I use a couple seasonings including smoked paprika but I'll leave a list down below so you can check out all the ingredients I use to season up the pasta. After, after seasoning it um, with the regular powdered seasoning though I did add some green seasoning um, that I have on my Instagram page at kamikitaja you can follow me there as well. So after I seasoned up I'll add some olive oil to the shrimp with the powder seasoning I did go in with some green seasoning guys when I'm cooking I cook with soil um, I don't really measure all the stuff I season pretty blindly 
so I just cook with my arts, my cook with my arts. So yeah, you see, I show you the seasoning. I, that one is not really clear, but it's a Cajun seasoning and some steak seasoning, smoked paprika, and I think I use some salt. As I said, I leave a detailed list of all the ingredients I used below. Now, depending on the amount of shrimp you are seasoning, you will have to judge the amount of spices you add to it. But I used garlic, salt, um, Cajun seasoning. I used um, some steak seasoning and then I added some green seasoning at the end but off camera so those are the stuff i used i also use some olive oil to help to get it marinated real quickly so you can try adding um, olive oil whenever you're seasoning meat and you have a short time for the marinating process you can try adding some oil to the seasoning So guys, so I am gonna put this down to marinade and then after 30 minutes, I'm gonna add some home whipped garlic butter to the pot and you know, just lightly sear the shrimp. You don't want to have these in the pot too long because you will be putting it in the alfredo sauce. So just let it get pink and take it right out. I hate overcooked shrimp, so as soon as it hits the pot and the color change, I'm taking it out, especially if I'm gonna add it to a sauce. Yeah, take it out, trust me. Yeah, so definitely the garlic butter did give it some flavor. I It was the first time doing that. I don't know why my mind told me, say, hey, use some garlic butter and i had the home with put one in the fridge anyways that i needed to use so i went in and used that and it was very good so i don't regret using the garlic butter at all with fresh garlic parsley and i just um blended that up in the the ninja and yeah it was really good very flavorful so as soon as as i said as soon as the color start changing i flip it and toss it up a little bit take it out because we're gonna add it to the alfredo sauce so you don't want to have it cooked too long So I remove the shrimp from the pot and then I'm gonna add a little more of the butter along with my seasoning to caramelize and then I'll begin working on the sauce. So I added the butter and then I'm gonna add my, my seasoning, my onion and my sweet pepper and let it caramelize a little bit. Um, I'm gonna add some water to the plate that I seasoned the shrimp and add the liquid to the pot to help with the deglazing and then I'm gonna go in with the creams which would be my coconut powder and my heavy whipping cream. Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not really hungry and I couldn't do the mixing out with the coconut powder and the warm water. So I just cut the pack, empty it out in there, add some water, 
to mix it out and yeah I mean no lumps or anything like that so it was all good for me you guys can go ahead and you know add the water before mix it out with the warm water but I just added it straight from the pot you guys saw that I had some cream cheese right there so I use about three ounces of cream cheese add it to the the pot um coconut powder some water and then i let it um melt out over the heat and whisk it so that i don't have any lumps or clumps before adding the whipping cream so I ha you have to whisk this so that you get rid of all any clumps any clumps at all because it's cream cheese it doesn't melt out as easy as like your sharp or your mozzarella after the sauce melts down I added some heavy whipping cream to make it more rich and creamy instead of cheesy because that's what we want nice and creamy but guys the coconut flavor is so good in the pasta so bomb you have to try adding some coconut cream or powder whichever you have tried i'm gonna add my shrimps to the pot and let it cook a little bit like probably a minute or two before i go in with the pasta so stir it in let the juices mix and then add in the pasta The, the pasta is very tender and everything separated mixing the cream let it bubble a bit and then yeah pasta getting right there at this point guys my flame is on very low heat so that everything can just mellow in together if you understand what i'm saying just absorb in absorb the different flavors the shrimp into the sauce the sauce into the shrimp and the pasta everything just gelling very harmonious everything coming together before i add my parsley and plate but guys this recipe is off the hook you should definitely try it leave a comment below if you would try it and let me know if you do how it was for you let me know if you mix out your coconut powder if you use it before you add it to your ingredients or you just throw it straight into the pot let me know guys let me know i'm not a top chef i just can cook like a bit so you have to let me know like what do you think add it straight from the pack or mix it out first depending on if you're lazy or not let's let's hear your thoughts but guys this pasta was so good i'm gonna plate it up now and show you the finished product right guys so this pasta i mean it was so good i really hope you enjoyed my video um showing you guys how i prepare my low carb pasta now if you're diabetic if you're on a weight loss journey you should definitely try this recipe um if you're not you can use regular pasta and use a different stuff to make the sauce it would be great as well but definitely this is a treat for persons on a low carb diet who miss the real pasta you can definitely try it i did top this off with some parmesan cheese so you can add that as well yes guys so sorry for the voiceover but it is what it is duty calls remember to like share and subscribe i'll definitely come next time